All right, here's the deal. Tip number one for working out. Don't drop the plate on your... Happy Monday, everybody. And that is my advice to you today. I hope everything is going well with you. Today is the solar eclipse day. And I'm sure you're gonna be seeing tons and tons and tons of videos online, YouTube, Facebook, post. Um, I hope you didn't look into the sun because by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be over. But in any case, enjoy yourselves. And well, at least I should say, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm headed to Virginia for work. And um, this Monday morning has not started off too well. So let's see how the rest of the day goes. I'm headed to the airport right now. I managed to get what I needed to get at work. My toe is still killing me and all I want to do is cry. Nothing sucks worse than dropping a weight on your toe, nothing. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody else does. Right up there with the getting kicked in the nuts, there's no other worse pain. There really isn't. Between you and me, folks, I don't ever want to feel it again. But what had happened, the uh, weight rack was full, four plates on it. And so I, just going about my business, getting ready to load it up, didn't realize how much distance I had before I needed to get a solid grip on the uh, on the weight there. Next thing you know, it slips right off the edge, right on my toe. And then some, some lady had the, the nerve to give a smirk about it because she was pedaling on her bike. An old pedal bike routine. I mean, I would have laughed too, or at least smirked, or just, just knew and understood what the guy was going through had I been somebody else. But uh, no, it was me. It was me this time. All right, so I am again on my way to the airport. <laughs> So I'm at the airport now, and wow, my lens is super fogged up. Super fogged. There we go. That should be better. Uh, yeah, gotta love, uh, gotta love Florida for that. Oh, my toe is absolutely killing me as well. I wish. I never had dropped that freaking weight on it. Oh, so it's eight o'clock. Flight leaves in about an hour and 45 minutes. I still need to catch a shuttle, get through TSA pre-check, and then get to my gate. So I should be fine. On my way to the elevator, I've seen two transport's going and hopefully I can catch a uh, catch another one here right quick I already got the the light I already got the light should be opening up any second now any second three two one so all right I am in level one we are going down. Cue to sappy elevator music. A la left. Actually, they lied. I had to go to the right. They are doing some massive construction here at the Tampa International Airport. Everything is pretty much shut down and I just missed the bus! No! You've got to be kidding me. Oh, wait. If I run really, really quickly, I really don't want to run, but there's no stop. I can make it. I'm going to make it. Oh, with my gimp toe. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. All right, I'll set up and put one in, but I'm going to make it. I will make it. All right, I made the bus. 
Yeah. I made the bus. Yeah. Super excited. Yeah, it'll be okay. My toes killing me. And uh, yeah, I'm out of breath, out of shape. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, crazy yeah. thing is too. As soon as I met the bus, another one just pulled up to the stop. Yeah, most most all of us. So I ran for nothing. Oh man, just my luck again. Just missed the tram over to the terminal. Always a minute behind right now. Today is definitely Monday, so hopefully the next one comes back quickly. We get over there and get relaxed and get settled in. So. But could be worse. All right, so I made it to my gate. Go ahead and get some breakfast at Starbucks here. Oh, what should I get? It all looks so good. Just waiting on my sandwich now. <laughs> right here. Thank you very much. Way. You know, I've been sitting here for the past two minutes. Time is ticking. They're probably boarding the other flight right now. We're getting pretty close to it with 11:30 departure. I have a strong feeling I'm going to miss this flight. After 11, I gotta get to B Concourse. I'm all the way at T, as as figured. I am hurting for foot foot. That's all I gotta say. I hate Atlanta Airport. They coordinate these connecting flights better. One second, train will be here. Train has arrived. All right. on the tram. Just stuck in my own toe as well. So oh, I don't understand the pain that I'm in. It absolutely sucks. Welcome aboard the plane train. Please hold on. This train is departing. Oh it's not that far. Oh. The next stop is for A gates. A as an alpha. Oh I probably should have held on. And I didn't. Next time. Hold on. Minutes looking through all my pockets and my bags, and 
I can't find my parking ticket, so I'm hoping that it is in my car. To my car, great, and I hope I lock my car. It's been one heck of a Monday morning, folks, and I hope the rest of the day goes smooth. We've got the eclipse coming up here when I land in Norfolk, and it should be about starting, actually. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's looking kind of weird dark here at the Atlanta airport. But um, by the time we get down to Norfolk and get to the car and everything like that, it should already be kind of in progress. The plan was to kind of do a time lapse film of it, but the stuff that I read, taking pictures without the proper filters on your camera, I didn't want to risk it. So even though I do have an NDA filter for my, my J1, I, I don't want to risk it. So. Uh, I mean, I'll be out and about, try to find a park or something to to post up for a little bit, see what's going on before I get to the hotel, check in, and then make it to the uh, to the dinner that I'm hosting uh, for my clients. So that's just how we fly quick to get in, get down, get out. I'm, just I'm ready for this day to be over. I'm heading down the ramp to the connecting flight here. I thought I had another scare that I actually lost my wallet. I'm losing it today, folks. I'm absolutely losing it. Um, yeah, again, it's definitely a Monday, and I can tell. So, you know, it's a quick up and down flight anywhere I need to go and go from there. I think I probably should call my rental car company because I should have already been in North Pole by now to pick up my rental car, so I really haven't given it away yet. Um, who knows? But I'll come. camera itself it'll burn it up that thing? it will yeah it'll burn up the, the sensors in there um, oh. this is just a hand mount stabilizer so you can get stable video I've not yeah. seen that that's yeah. cool Wow yeah. Nikon. Yeah. okay I had no idea how this would change the, the view but it well that was interesting there's some folks uh, hanging out looking at the eclipse and I got a little bit of a shot of it I don't know how good it was but Something's better than nothing. So I just asked where the rental car desk is. Apparently I was headed the absolute wrong way. So, uh, how are you today? Hello, fine are you? Good. Your last name? Garcia. Yeah, I had an earlier morning reservation and I ended up taking a later flight. To get a car up here for you, it's probably going to be about 40 minutes. Okay. Because all I have right now is SUVs. Couldn't get a free upgrade? No, because you're already <laughs> past your times. <laughs> yeah, I tried to call when I was at Atlanta, but I couldn't get any service to get the numbers, so I, I had a feeling that it was going to end up screwing everything up. What is the typical window? Two hours. Two hours, yeah. Two hours without flight information. If you put in your flight information, we track your flight all day. But you don't okay. need any flight information there. Gotcha. It wouldn't help anyway if I changed flights, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down the counter to driver. If you wanted to have a seat when the car comes up, I get you going. Okay. Mm, I'm sorry. No problem. I 
I'm gonna blame it on me. You know, I had, I had to change some flight issues because I had to pick something up from uh, from the office before I got on the plane. Uh, so I had to change everything. So I understand completely. So I'll go mm -hmm. take a seat over there and. It's gonna be that much longer. All right. Well, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So, all right, I'm on standby until a car comes up. So in the meantime. Let's just take a look at this little diorama that we got going on right here. So this appears to be a model of the Norfolk International Airport. Well, that was quick. I got a car. I'm gonna get me going. All right. So what kind of Ferrari do you got for me today? Um, a new All right. Yeah, really tight. You might get that effect. Sorry, I've been in one before. It's no big deal. It's just wheels for a day. I just need it for about 24 hours. G6. All right, thank you. All right, round two done. We got the car. A little Nissan Sentra. I figure it'd be something like that. No big deal. Pan up shot. Whoa. All right, so we are off. Um, car looks good. Car smells good. I think we are out of here. I don't know where I'm going as of yet, so I'm probably going to have to pull over somewhere. I don't know where the heck I'm going, to be honest with you. I have the problem of always just hopping in the car and going without figuring out where the heck I'm going. Just going with it. So what we're going to do is we are going to get on 64 and head north and then the first place where I see food I am stopping, get my logistics together and head to the, uh, head to the hotel. Eclipse has already started, it's 228, about 15 minutes. It's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty dark. Um, can already kind of feel it in the air there. It's just again, as I mentioned, it's just a weird, weird feeling. So, in any case, uh, next stop, food. We made it. Made it through the tunnel. Pretty cool tunnel. Can't wait to uh, to drive back through it on the way back to the uh, to the airport there. So uh, we are still on mission for food, um, but it's probably going to be hotel first and then food. Um, I'm so far behind today in work. It's it is ridiculous, and um, yeah. So hopefully there's quick food near the hotel. If not, the hotel has food itself. But uh, let me tell you, I am starving. Grown boy, working out hard, building some muscles. I need to eat. All right, so I made it to the hotel. Hi, good. How are you today? Last name. Uh, it is Garcia. Garcia? Yep, G-A-R-C-I-A. -A. Uh, I can tell you I'm all thumbs today. Day for it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a day, I can tell you that. Yes. Um, started off this morning dropping a 45-pound uh, plate on my foot. All right, so here is my, here is my current foot situation. I am all bruised up. I don't know what to do. Definitely, probably, for sure, gonna be going to an urgent care tonight. Uh, just to make sure it's not broke. Yeah, that uh, that's definitely not good. Um, yeah, I'm all bruised up. I just, no words. No words to describe what uh, what I got going on and what I need to do, so that's, that's about it, so. Off to the shower, get dressed. That's it. All right, so it's about 5:30 now. I'm heading out to uh, 
out to dinner and then come home get some come home right home back to the hotel get some work done and relax nice this freaking toe it's feeling a little bit better got a little bit looser shoe on with the dress shoe and all right so i thought i was gonna be ending the vlog early the area i'm in is actually historic williamsburg and it's absolutely beautiful um i probably should do a little bit more research and where exactly i was going but uh I'll show you guys some of the sites as i walk through and get to the uh get to the restaurant if i can find it here i got like six minutes for the reservation starts yeah there's people everywhere i mean it's it's cool so hopefully tomorrow i get to guys show you a little bit of historic williamsburg and yeah good to hang out yeah.